Here we have a very nice 2010 Audi A4 SE TDI saloon in white. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth here on the offside front. You're looking at a good 4mm of tread in the centre of the tyre there. Looking at the offside front alloy, and a good look at the condition. A little bit of paint bubbling and paint peel around the inside of the spokes and around the alloy. No curbing or any scuff marks So. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, no sign of any dinks or dents at all down the bodywork. Around the offside front arch, one or two stone chips on the front quarter here just requires some touch-ins. Apart from that, looks clean. Driver's mirror, bit of a scuff mark there. It might be able to mop out. If not, we'll need a little bit of paint. Driver's door itself, a couple of touch-ins down the door edge. One or two light scratches below the driver's door itself will require good polish there as well, but no damage. But if the sills are in nice condition, rear passenger door again, just the odd one or two light scratches. Again, a couple of little marks down the door edge there. Moving towards the rear arch, again, we've got some light scratches around there, so a good mop and polish will be needed. Rear tie on the offside, you're looking at again a good four to five millimeters of tread, so plenty of tread there on the offside. And the rear alloy again in nice condition, very clean. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, you do have rear parking sensors on the car. Rear bumper, um, again, it's a little bit of a, a press mark there, right on the end of the boot edge. This might need some paint as well. A couple of stone chi uh, chips around the rear end will just require some touch-ins. Near side rear quarter in nice condition, no signs of any damage there. Top of the boot in nice condition as well. So again, just some very small cosmetic marks. Underneath the boot tray, as you can see, there is no sign of any spare wheel. Um, again, nice condition inside, very tidy. Near side rear tie, again, you look at a good four to five millimeters of tread. Looking on your near side rear alloy, once again, nice condition. No sign of any curbing or scuff marks there. Again, just a little bit of paint bubbling on the inside of some of the spokes. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, again, looking very clean and tidy. Uh, door edge is fine on the rear door, the paintwork is looking clean, just one or two light scratches. Front passenger door edge is fine as well, and the front passenger door again looking clean. Mirror is fine, front arch is very tidy, and the front tyre again, good 4mm there, so plenty of tread on all four tyres. Front alloy very clean as well, no sign of any curbing or scuff marks there either. And we've run to the front of the vehicle, of course, there is one or two stone chips on the front end of the car. Uh, there's a bit of a scuff mark as you can see right on the front lip of the bumper here. Apart from that it is going to require some touch-ins from the front end. But that is the exterior of the car, take a look at the interior. As you can see interior wise we've got the full cloth interior, you've got your butt pack in there as well, nice condition, no sign of any damage in there. Door panels, back of the seats are all looking very clean and tidy as well. Driver's seat in a lovely condition, again bolsters all looking very clean. And the condition of the front passenger seat is fine as well. Dashboard and sensor consoles very clean. Gear stick and steering wheel in nice condition as well. All around nice looking car. Your automatic headlights. Stepping on the inside of the car. And we're looking at 93,578 miles on the clock. Uh, looking around the car, you wouldn't really know it's done that sort of mileage to be fair. It looks really good for the mileage. Uh, Service in 400 miles or 200 days. So it's obviously going to do the mileage first. And there's no issues at all starting the car, no symbols at all appearing in the dash apart from the service lights, that's all um, working perfectly fine. You do have the DAB uh, radio, there's no issues at all with the sound, that's working fine. Air conditioning, thank God, is working, coming out nice and cold. Heated seats in the vehicle, uh, you've got a phone holder here. Apart from that, functionality of everything is working perfectly fine. Taking a look at your documents, looking at your V5, we are looking at two owners, so two owners on the car. Got an MOT expiry date here, the 22nd of November 2016. And taking a look at your service history now. As you can see, we've got an Audi stamp there at 19,000, Audi stamp there at 37,000. And then we've got an Audi stamp at 55 and a non franchise at 75. Again, as you can see from the car, it is going to require service in the next four to 500 miles. There you go, guys, that's the 2010 Audi A4 SE TDI, and for the mileage that the car's done, it is looking very well.